Hi, welcome to this SSRS tutorial video and today we're going to look at creating a, a parameter that can be filtered based on another parameter. Making it a, a parameter dynamic based on another parameter. So right now I've got a report on screen and it shows me um, sales of products. So I select my drop down here and I find an item that I'm interested in. So this mountain bike and I click on view report and it will show me the sales of that mountain bike. Now the product list is big and if I want to look for something particular, say like brakes, bike brakes, maybe front or rear brakes, it's not very easy for me to find. Uh, there's front brakes but maybe I didn't know that they were going to be necessarily called front brakes. It could be called anything. So I've got this great long list here to search. To, to search. Easier if I can maybe put part of that product description and have the drop down filter based on the, um, the text that I put into filtering. So if I go back to my design here, we need to do a couple of things. First of all, we need to create a new parameter that will be that will accept text for us to um, use as a filter so let us create a new parameter here and i'm going to call it param filter um, enter filter description it's going to be text i don't need to worry about any of these it's as simple as that param filter now what I want to do is I want to filter my products in the drop down. And so if I go to my parameters here, I can check if I'm not sure what data set um, populates this drop down. So if I go to my um, available values here, DS product list is the data set that I need to um, update. So if I go to my DS product list, what I want to do here is I've got some SQL there that basically returns me all of the products in the product list table. I want to add a um, a clause in here to filter that information. So I'm going to say where pr dot name like, and I'm just going to type this, and I'll explain what I've done in just a sec. So I'm building SQL here. What I'm saying is. Um, show me everything in this table where the name is like and because I'm using like I need to use the wildcard symbol and in SQL that is a percent sign so I'm going to say like wildcard then my parameter I've just created the value of my parameter and ending wildcard so if I put some text in my parameter this will say where PR name like wildcard oh, um, break wildcard and then it will correctly filter my SQL and ideally then correctly filter my product list. If I go to refresh fields I should now be able to go to my parameters section and I should see now I've got param filter which I've just created and I can assign it to my new param filter parameter. So if I click OK. Now that's basically all I need to do. But I want to run this and I will get an error and I want to do that just to kind of show you the error. So if I come to here and I try and preview it, I will get an error. This error says, um, the important part of the error is forward dependencies are not valid. Okay, so let me just go back here. <clears throat> Excuse me. So what I've done is I've created a new parameter and altered this product list to use that new parameter. But above it, the existing parameter here, Palam product, that uses this data set, if you think about the order of it, it's going to generate this Palam product based on this data set, which is then based on this parameter here, which is um, after the first parameter. Now, these things run in order. So I need to move this new parameter here. So what that will do is it will say um, 
this here is based on this data set which in turn is based on this filter this parameter here so that kind of works so this parameter filter here will filter this data and will populate this parameter here so it works in order this first will affect this which will affect this and that was what the error was doing you can't um you can't work with this before this parameter is actually being action because it's it's dependent on it so now if i go to preview it should now work as in it should present the report to me and now in here i can type please notice by the way that here there isn't a drop down available yet because this parameter here is dependent on information in this parameter here so i'll type the word break if i now press tab and move away from that field the drop down now becomes available and if i click on the drop down i only get an option of those products that have a name with break in them and if i come back here and i change that to be short and i press tab my drop down now changes to offer only those products that have a name with the word short in and then when i select one of these I click on my report and it will filter my report um not the best example in that case if i go back to break yeah that's a product that has um sales items so it's as simple as that you come into here you type the text that you want to appear in whatever you're searching for from a, a product point of view press tab your filter will change your product list here and you can then change it to be you can select a product from that that's it a dynamic drop down based on a, uh, another parameter i hope that was helpful i hope it made sense any comments or feedback please leave me uh, um a comment on this video it's all appreciated and any any questions you've got i'll endeavor to answer thank you very much for your time see you next time